Now, don't be fooled by this plant's unassuming appearance. It may not look poisonous, but this plant has killed literally thousands of people. Warning, the plant that I'm about to show you is dangerous. Not only is it capable of killing even adult humans, but it does so in an incredibly unpleasant manner. The purpose of this video is to show you this plant so that you may better recognize the warning signs and learn to avoid it in a foraging or survival scenario. This is white snake root, and it's a fairly common plant in North America. This plant contains many different toxins and has the ability to kill humans as well as livestock. Notably, any animal that ingests white snake root will have the poison present in their milk or meat, and any human that would ingest those things would also get poisoned. This is the primary way that people were poisoned by this plant. Back in the 1800s, people didn't know it could do this, and people got something called milk sickness, which would kill them, and it was a result of this plant. Thankfully, it was discovered that this plant was to blame. And now, in the 21st century, the chance of getting milk sickness is next to nothing. However, before this was discovered, it claimed thousands of lives, including Abraham Lincoln's mother. The risk today from this plant is minimal. However, you could get poisoned if you drank the milk from a single cow which grazed on an improperly maintained pasture which contained white snake root. Another potential risk is that this plant looks very similar to stinging nettle, which is a wild edible. While I haven't heard of any cases of people being poisoned in this manner, mistaking it for stinging nettle, it is possible. The toxins are not destroyed by cooking. So, if you were to gather a bunch, like you would stinging nettle, and cook it in a soup, you could potentially poison yourself. Some of the warning signs include dark green, arrow-shaped leaves, although color can vary. A hairless, reddish-brown to green stem. And when it blooms, it has white flowers. However, if you did initially mistake this for stinging nettle, it would probably be a good idea to know how it tastes, as that would be your final warning before you poisoned yourself. Now the information on what this plant tastes like is not all that good. The only information I could find is that it tastes bad, and that's not a good indicator. In my opinion, stinging nettle tastes bad. So, in the spirit of science and education, I'm going to tell you guys exactly what this plant tastes like by tasting it. Alright, now before I go further, I want to make absolutely crystal clear that I'm doing everything I can to make this as safe as possible. I will taste the plant as thoroughly as I can, and then spit it out, and spit repeatedly. I'm not going to show that on camera because that's kind of gross, but that's exactly what I'm going to have to do to make sure that the dosage I get is minimal. Now, even if I were to eat a whole leaf and swallow it, the dosage would still probably be minor, but I'm not going to take that chance if all I need to do is just taste it. That said, this is an obvious do not try this at home situation. I'm tasting this plant so you don't have to. I'm in a fairly unique position to do this because I don't have any chronic medications. Stuff like that could potentially interfere with the poison and make the lethal dose much lower. In the right conditions, however, this is perfectly safe. In fact, humans ingest poisons on a regular basis. What are alcohol, drugs, and other medications, but poisons? And no, I won't be doing this with every single poisonous plant I come across. There are some that are too dangerous to do this with. All right, let's do this. All right, here's the lower portion of a leaf. I'm not gonna eat the whole thing, that'd be stupid. But here we go. Well, no surprises here, it tastes awful. In fact, the taste is still lingering in my mouth. So tasting this plant, it's pretty obvious that it's poisonous. It's bitter, soapy, and it kind of burns your tongue. This is actually one of the main tests you can do to distinguish poisonous plants from edible ones in an unfamiliar environment. If I was dropped into a jungle where I didn't know many of the plants there, I would probably have to do this test to try to figure out which ones are edible and which ones are toxic. So it is a useful survival skill, although it's not one I'd recommend practicing, just one you should know about.
Well, that's about it. It tastes bitter, soapy, and burns the tongue. Now hopefully no one will ever have to taste this plant again. Hope you all learned something. See ya.